In this video, you will learn how to put a book on hold to read in person or take out a book virtually and read it on your computer. Let's get started. Step 1. Log in to the WRDSB Library Learning Commons website with your pals. This is the same information you use to log into your Chromebook at school. Once you've found the web page, you want to find the login button that has the little key. This is where you enter your PAL's information. Now that I'm logged in, I'm going to find a book that I want to read. Let's try Harry Potter. Make sure that the library website is set to your school. If it isn't, you just click on that little arrow and find your school. Sometimes there are a lot of choices when you do a search for a certain book. You might want to refine your search by going over to the left and picking the format that you would like. In this case, I would like fiction. I want to read a novel. Pick fiction and I refine the search. And I see that this one is here, but it's not currently available. So I'm going to scroll down to see if there's one that is available. Oh, there is. I'm going to press reserve. And here it tells me that the book is now on reserve for me. And this also lets the library clerk know to pull it off the shelf. You can always check your account by finding the My Account tab and My Borrowing. This is a great way to check if the reserve worked and if it shows that you have it on hold. Here it is, right in my account. This also tells me how many books I currently have checked out of the library. It's a great way to keep track. Change your mind or make a mistake, you can always go in and cancel that reserve. And as you see, it's cancelled and no longer showing. Now did you know you could also read books online off of a device? Let's see. We'll search for a series of unfortunate events. Searching for ebooks, we definitely want to refine our search so that we're only looking at what's available online, not the books that are in the library. Once you find what you're looking for, you want to click on Connect to Resource. And here it says Borrow. You want to click on Borrow and then click on Go to Checkouts. And then you can read the book right in your browser by clicking on the Read in Browser button. And here's the book all ready to read. To flip the pages, all you need to do is click your mouse or tap your screen. Ebooks have to be returned too, so when you're finished with the book, you simply go to Return Title and you'll see that it's no longer in your account. And when you're done, you log off and you're all set for next time. And that is how you reserve a book or read a book online with the WRDSB Library Learning Commons website. Now go check out a book. Happy reading, everybody.